down at the bottom of a very pretty valley, there's a magical place called Somerton Mill. And when the water wheel turns at Somerton Mill, a little bit of magic takes place. And, for a little while, everything goes back to how it used to be. Oh, it's a lovely morning, said Dan, as he looked out over Somerton Valley. What's that, then? said Dan, as he noticed a box on top of the logs. Good morning, Dan, said Dr. Neighbor, as he came around the corner, where Mousy Tongue, the cat, was lying in the sun. Oh, good morning to you, Dr. Neighbor. Uh, you don't have to know what these are, do you? No fluffer. Dr. Neighbor looked inside the box. Hmm. I'm not sure, but I think they look like seeds, Dan. Where did they come from? Well, I don't rightly know, Dr. Neighbor. They were just down there on top of the logs. Someone must have left them for me. Well, if they are seeds, maybe we should plant one and see what it grows into, said Dr. Neighbor. Dan liked that idea. Oh, yes, yes, yes! What a good idea, Dr. Neighbor. I just love watching things grow. And Dan and Dr. Neighbor headed off to find a good place to plant one of the seeds. Dan had dug a small hole. There, that should do it, Dr. Neighbor, said Dan, and he carefully dropped a seed into the hole and covered it with soil. Dr. Neighbor watered the seed to help it to grow. Yoo-hoo! Mrs. Neighbor was at the bottom of the field. Hello, Mrs. Neighbor! Hello! Did you find the chocolates that I left for you, Dan? What was that, Mrs. Neighbor? Chocolates! I left you some homemade chocolates in a box by your door. No, I found a box with some seeds in it, though. We've just planted one. You've just planted one? <laughs> Dan and Dr. Neighbor thought for a moment. Oh dear, said Dr. Neighbor. I think we've made a bit of a mistake, Dan. So do I, Dr. Neighbor. It looks like we've planted one of Mrs. Neighbor's homemade chocolates. Yes, and we'll have to wait a long time for that to grow. And Dan and Dr. Neighbor had a good laugh at their silly mistake. Look! A green shoot had broken through the soil. It grew taller and taller, and bushier and bushier. Flowers opened up all over the tree. And in the center of each flower, there was a perfect chocolate. It's a chocolate, growing on a special chocolate tree. Well, there's a surprise, Dr. Neighbor, said Dan. Mmm, yum, yum. Mmm. It's a funny old world, isn't it, Dan? Said Dr. Neighbor. It certainly is, Dr. Neighbor, said Dan. And Dan and Dr. Neighbor picked a few chocolates and talked about the amazing chocolate tree until it was time to go home. And when Dan and Fluffer got back to Somerton Mill, Mousy Tongue was still lying asleep in the sun. And as the water level drops back down, the big old water wheel slows and eventually stops. And Somerton Mill, still beautiful in its tumble-down state, goes back to being a home just to the wild animals, the birds, and the plants.